Eastern Kentucky is one of the promised zone areas in the country. As the federal government, what we're going to do is assist the communities in the area and their applications for federal grants so that it can kind of foster a link between the region and the federal government. But there's no real federal investment other than time and talent, okay? But no treasure. I think it's really unknown what's going to come out of the promised zone because Time and talent is harder to measure than, than cash. It would be a lot harder to check uh, where, where the investment is going and how. What we'll have to keep our eyes on for the Promise Zone is what types of grants the eastern part of the state gets and the effectiveness of those grants. And, and there's a little bit of activity already taking place, um, but, but time will tell. There's a lot of encouragement for greater broadband access, so that's kind of the infrastructure of the 21st century, because presumably with that infrastructure, since it's a global marketplace and a lot of that market takes place on the internet, we want to make sure that the, the, the people in the whole state of Kentucky, and maybe in particular the eastern part, have access to that technology. Our research shows that of the income gap between poor counties today and non-poor counties today, about 60% of it is explained to differences in education in those counties. From a policy perspective, it's a disadvantage that can be overcome. If the only reason why incomes were low, say in Eastern Kentucky, was because it's mountainous, well, that's a lot more challenging to change. But if it's primarily due to education attainment, well, we know what we can do about that, okay? And that's invest in the people in education, primarily starting with pre-K and going all the way up to, to higher ed. And there's significant evidence to suggest that education is a driver of, of income, okay? And what we call a causal sense. And so the higher education, the higher your income. So with education, people are equipped with the skills and the talent to either make a go at it where they're from or be more mobile. The other thing that we've seen with the last 20 to 30 years is kind of this growth of the, the creative class. People with education are drawn to communities where there are other educated people, and so there's a synergy that takes place. And so making sure you're investing in your people in that part of the state is really crucial. Yes, some will choose to move on, but some will choose to stay, and others will choose to move in, okay? But you have to start somewhere. And to me, I think that that somewhere is, is, is in human capital.